never had like a Dave Karofsky to look up to when I was you know struggling with things I think it would have helped to have that kind of figure in my life um, and obviously I think you know if TV networks can see that something like Dave Karofsky is working they might be willing to have more characters like that and before we know it you know having the variety of gay characters will just be the norm it won't be like oh remember that one guy who was like the bully and then you know came out and you or it won't be like, oh, remember that big dumb jock on Glee who was gay, you know, wasn't that ridiculous, as if someone could, like that could be gay, you know, maybe it'll just become like the norm and people will actually realise, you know, different types of people are gay and it's, that's just how it is. Um, and I guess what I'm making this video for is that um, I feel like he's made such a difference on Glee, he's made such a, such a difference to so many people's lives, and I just feel like, you know, he should be rewarded for it, he should have like, he should be made a regular on the show. He should, he should be able to sing. I mean, if people ask him to sing and he can't sing because he's under contract that says he can't sing, um, why aren't the show using his voice and having him sing? You know, it just seems like a waste to me. Especially if he's got he's got his um, show choir background, and he's obviously not allowed to do what he loves. So it's like, you've got to let him do it. Come on, I mean, come on, <laughs> come on, Ryan Murphy. You've got to let Max Adler sing. Because we all want to hear it. We all know he's got a great voice. Because he was first chair at his high school glee club. So, come on, let's let's hear it. Let's let's, let's let him put on his like James Bond. <laughs> James, let's let him put on his James Bond tuxedo, and start crooning out some like Dean Martin or Michael Bublé. Because that's what we want to see. Especially as we haven't had people like on the show who can do that kind of music as well. And obviously everyone loves a good crooner. And I think, I think if we see that side of Dave Karofsky, that some of the people who don't like him they may turn. <laughs> and also I think it's just, you know, once once you give a character like such a major storyline, especially one that everyone's talking about, whether it's like, I love Karofsky or I hate Karofsky or, you know, oh I hate him, he should die in a fire, blah blah blah. You know, if a character can get people talking about him that much, then I th really think they should use him more, especially as he appeared in only like 13 episodes and there's like 22 episodes. And yet, his storyline was dominating most of it. and. A lot of his appearances were just him appearing for like, sort of like two seconds in the background, or like him appearing to throw a slush in someone's face and then just not appearing for the rest of the rest of the episode. And you think this is a waste of like a great actor. Um, obviously, I know Glee has a lot of talented people on the show that they have to sort of juggle between the storylines and the singing and giving equal attention to everyone. But I mean, they've got like a rough gem here in Max Adler, and I don't understand why they're not using him more. Um, so my hope is for season three that A, we'll see him in like every episode, um, that he'll sing, he'll join New Directions, um, that he'll come to terms with who he is and accept himself, and for just a <laughs> personal wish that him and Kurt would get together because we want the happy ending for the storyline, you know, because all these people are relating to him and all these people are like rooting for like the happy ending, which perhaps they haven't had yet or perhaps they have had and they want to see like reflected on the TV. Um, so, I think it's just a great story as well, especially when you consider that a lot of the love stories, a lot of the great love stories that um, have ever been written, you know, you've got like Pride and Prejudice, Weathering Heights, um, Jane Eyre, Beauty and the Beast, <laughs> um, all these great storylines that have sort of the um, antagonist who's not very likeable in the beginning, you know, it's all written from the other person's perspective, and where you're basically made to hate this person, but then obviously as time goes on they get to know the person properly they begin to see that oh, I actually quite like this person or actually I quite love this person you know and I just think it would be like the great story especially since Kurt he's been through so much you know season one where he's lusting after Finn and nothing was happening you know and then season two you know I mean his his, his relationship with Blaine is okay you know it's kind of cute it's kind of sweet but you know what you really want to see, well, what I really want to see on TV anyway, is like a relationship that has like that brimming passion, you know, that has like that two people who are so different that they shouldn't really be together, but they are, um, and who just play off each other and like basically who have like each person who has the strength that the other one doesn't, so that when they come together, they kind of mesh together and make a whole, like two halves of a whole. Basically, in conclusion, um, I'm supporting the free Max Adler's voice campaign because I think he deserves it and I want to see more of Max Adler on Glee. Um, 
and obviously his storyline's helping so many people that I think it's just it would be a waste and a shame if they don't capitalize on everything and basically use him to his full extent and basically don't give us that happy ending because obviously he's been through so much he's been torturing himself that obviously if people see that in the storyline they see that he tortures himself and doesn't and things don't go well for him that perhaps things won't go well for them if they try and like follow in his footsteps so I think it's important as well that they see that happy ending and obviously I don't think that there can be a happy ending for Dave unless he actually ends up with Kurt as well because Throughout the show, we've seen that he only loves Kurt. So, how would they how would they introduce a new character who he's going to love as much, or how are they just going to leave him hanging with um, without getting with Kurt and give him a happy ending? Because I just I don't see it happening. So, um, this is just my plea to the um, writers of Glee: please use Max Adler to his full abilities, and please, for the love of God, <laughs> let us hear him sing.